eliminate this. Hi guys, I am Didi and you're welcome to my channel. If you're new here, kindly click the subscribe button and join our family. And that um, bell notification, <laughs> just praise it. <laughs> So that you can get notified when we upload content and if you are a DD gang <laughs> Welcome back and thank you for stopping by So the first time I heard a doctor speak about eating healthy was when I got discharged from the hospital uh, You a lot of us in fact all of us do not know that I am a cerebral malaria survivor <laughs> yes, when you hear malaria, you don't really think so deep, but don't google it here too. I will be the one to come back and educate you upon it. <laughs> do not google, and don't ask your doctor. If you ask, I will know. Me, I will know. <laughs> so, yeah, and now I get to understand that the reason why the doctor spoke about clean eating, not even healthy, he said clean eating, and uh, I cannot shout out to the doctor yet. But I will shout out to him when I do a vlog or when I speak about cerebral malaria. If you want me to, kindly reply in the comment section. Let me know if I'm not just going to be talking to myself. Of course, it's, it's, it's education. <laughs> I cannot be talking to myself. But he had to, when I was discharged, himself and his wife gave me some, like, I don't know if it was him imported products. I don't, I don't know the kind of stuff that were there, but it was like replacement for the stuffs that, you know, I'm already used to so that I do not feel bad because they said, they said stuff about me not having to eat certain things because I need to eat clean. Now, I find out that clean eating is respect to your body. And if you feed it with junks, I'm not the one that said it was you. I did not say anything. You're the one that said it. Now, looking back to a couple of <laughs> time ago, I remember myself before I got married or before my wedding day. Two months into my wedding, out of anger, I've deleted all of those pictures. But I think I should have one lying around. You don't want to see me. <laughs> you don't want to, oh Jesus. People were attributing it to peace of mind. But it's not like I was sad or sorrowful before I got married. But... <laughs> Anyway, it's just one of those things we do not So without further ado, we're going to get to the topic right now. How to lose weight the lazy way. If you are like me, shop life gang, <laughs> and you like to just eat it, <laughs> but you cannot walk the walk. Ah, Well, firstly, decide why and how. A lot of people have... Of course, there are different body sizes, but a lot of people have different places they would want to shed the weight from. Like my own was the water retention in the lower section, in my lower abdominal section. Well, belly fat. I was trying to shed my belly fat. You don't want to see my stomach. Like a lot of people were already thinking like I got pregnant before I got married because I don't know what I was eating. You know? As I don't know. I <laughs> It shocked me or it shocked me. I don't know what I was eating. But there are different things that would make, make you, you know, just gain weight in some sections of your body. But some people are really gifted. Though. Like my older brother, he can eat a bag of rice. And you still wouldn't know that this guy, as in he has ever consumed. I know there's a divine punishment. Because it's no fear. It's not a fear thing. <laughs> so, you might want to lose weight in your thigh you might want to lose arm weight you might want to shed a little which really happens in this section anybody wanting to shed weight nah mm -mm. so you know what side that's how you decide why or your uh, your dress is no longer fitting do you look because some people really like it chunky some people really appreciate wanting to look my little sister putting efforts hard work in fact money into and it has not been working out for her. <laughs> but I pray God we honor her effort and her labor on it. <laughs> so, like, you need to decide why. Why are you doing it? You want to go back to size 12. You want to go back to size 8. You want to go back to a size 10. You know why. Now you have to decide how. Do you want to go under the knife? Would you want to, you know, 
let Dr. Dubrow and Dr. Nassif peel off a little fat and put somewhere else. You're the only one who knows. Anyway, if you're a lazy person like me, three months into my marriage, I couldn't even exercise. I did a little jog and I vomited. Yeah. Three up. I did all of that. So at a point, I just didn't want to work out. And I knew that, man, if I'm going to share any of this weight, it has to be the lazy way because I cannot come and die. You get me? <laughs> Which leads me to number two. Make a plan. You might be a very, very busy career person. You alone know what your schedule is like. So you have to make a plan. Make a plan. Plan it out. How do you want it to be? You know you've, you've decided why. You know you've decided why and how. Now it's time for you to make a plan. A plan. Now let me tell you what's going to be in your plan. You're going to have to swap. Swap foods. I had to swap. Like I had to reduce the number of cornflakes. And go the more. <laughs> yes, I had to reduce it. Even custard, I had to. I had to go for healthier options like oats. I had to go for healthier options like oats. <laughs> I cannot remove everything. Oats is what I had to replace some of them for. Not like replace, but I, what I'm trying to say is swap. If you know that you eat your durum semolina pastas, you could swap some of them for wheat pastas. Like spaghetti. <laughs> for all the pasta lovers in the world, uh, I'm one of you. So you have to swap some of them. You could also swap, you know, your swallow. You could make it cauliflower swallow. I don't know how they do it. You could make it cabbage fufu you could decide to eradicate eban fufu from your life please remove semolina if you can if you can survive it you know there's something when you I should do swap, i'm not saying eradicate i'm saying replace do you understand if you are an, if you are a mala lover you could you know replace that your normal one you used to buy in your local market with the ones that you do yourself which leads me to another plan you can make. I used to buy bagged semolina and wheat before now, but now I have to be doing it myself. So when I want to make my wheat flour, I add soya beans, I add guinea corn, the brown guinea corn. I even make my semol myself. Like, I have to shake the eat, but I can't be running. You don't understand. If I fall, what am I going to call? You want to me? That's what it is. You have to swap. Take, take away and replace. You could swap your yam for sweet potatoes or Irish potatoes. You could swap your big, uh, <laughs> your big head of ripe plantain for some ripe plantain and mostly all ripe plantains. You could swap your normal boiled rice for native rice beet or father or rice abakaliki you could just swap please just swap, swap. then diy do it yourself enough of the fast foods they are going to make money whether you buy or not we have a hey hey target so let's meet it <laughs> you understand cook yourself if you can or when you can cook yourself Rather than do takeouts, if you're going to do takeouts, do takeouts from cuisines or from places you know that they really go for healthy options and be religious about it. Do meal preps, boil your, boil your eggs down and store it. I'm not sure it will reduce the nutritional value of it. You know, slice your vegetables and put in a rubber bag. Boil your beans and put in a takeaway pack, put in the fridge. Do stuff that you know will make cooking easy for you. You know, when I talked about swap, did I talk about swapping red meat for white meat? Yeah, I should have said that. You can still enjoy your goat meat and your cow meat too, but a little chicken and turkey does no harm. Some people tell you to throw away the stock and that oil is to help you gain weight. I don't know about that, but you really need that stuff when you're doing the breast soup, so I don't know. Exercise when you can. See, there is a difference, or would I say a thin line? It's not a thin line. There's a difference between exercise and stress. You see that one that you are doing, you are used to suffer yourself. It stress you. Stroll. 
walk around, take steps, just stroll. If it's a trackable distance, leave Okada and Keke alone. Walk. Whatever means of transport, walk. The next thing is wear body flattering clothes. I do not need to buttress on this one, but you know what I'm trying. You decided to go on this journey, so let me not dwell on it. Wear body flattering clothes. You are a star. You are a champ. So that's how you can treat yourself. Enjoy the ride. Come on, you're doing good. Make your hair. Don't. We are not suffering. It's the way you want to shade. You. <laughs> There's no suffer there. Treat yourself. Feel confident. Read books. Do stuff. You know, feed yourself with all of that positive energy that you know that you need on a norm. Shedding weight it's not it's not a it's, i don't know it's not it's not like that let's not too hard ah yeah, so what we said was You understand what I'm trying to say? So if this was helpful to you, kindly give it a big thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. 